Yes! War win! And yes, I know it's, I'm kind of late on this video, but you know, I was tired. I had to watch the rest of the highlights of the other games, and I just had to get to this game. Look at this man, Marquise Colson. I'm wearing his jersey and stuff. Well, probably should give you a better picture. I'm wearing it, Marquise Colson's jersey. My dude balled out today, had two touchdowns. I know one of them was like on a one yard, we were inside the red zone, and it was pretty much a one yard catch from, uh, one yard throw from Breeze. But nevertheless, he had two touchdowns. He is so clutch! And all you guys want to get rid of him, just go away. Go away. Goodbye. See you later. We're not getting rid of him. That's ridiculous. Now, the way he played was absolutely fantastic. Uh, first of all, good game, Buccaneers. But damn it, we won this game. This was awesome, man. I wanted this game so badly. I'm really hyped right now. Next up, Don Hightower balled out. And I was really impressed how well he played. He was definitely in a player game. He ran his heart out. And I was really impressed because... Our, obviously, Mark Ingram's out for the rest of the season. He really stepped up. It's kind of disappointing. C.J. Spiller didn't get more touches. I hope he saves of us because I loved that touchdown he against, had against the Dallas Cowboys to pretty much end Skip Bayless' Dallas Cowboys season and make them lose seven straight losses, then lose to Carolina, and then luckily beat Washington and get blown out by Green Bay. So thank, thanks to us, they lost eight out of the last nine games. So that's why C.J. Spiller is awesome. But he isn't being used as much. I thought Hightower really played good. I think we got him from Arizona. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think he was from Arizona. He was really impressive as a backup. He, he it looked like he, he knew what he was doing. So that was really impressive by him. Our wide receivers were all good. Watson. Watson's a tight end. But you know what I mean. Uh, Sneed played good. After I called him out. I uh, know Steve's going to get to this point. I kind of called him out because I thought we were better about him. Because we scored uh, 38 points without him. I guess. He did make some clutch catches. But uh I guess uh, I guess he must have watched. He must have listened and probably liked this video and then realized that he has to play better. So I guess I should call him out more often. <laughs> Anyhow, going to the defense, man. This defense was amazing. To only get seventeen points to Tampa was pretty damn good. We got some three and outs. I thought we were gonna give it like thirty because our any. Like, if we're being real, any our defense, our defense has played throughout the season is that we made quarterbacks look like Tom Brady, like Joe Montana type, or even greater. Like, they, they may look like like the greatest quarterback of all time, but we really balled out today on defense. I know everyone's going to be like, of Elbury, we've earned a few of Elbury. We only lost one game of Elbury, but dude, let's not make excuses. Um, it was nevertheless really good on defense. And thank God we beat Jameis Winston. The most hated player in the NFL, in my opinion. Now, let me tell you my top five most hated players, just so y'all know. Obviously, Jameis Winston is number one, because I think he's a he the sexual assault case. I think he got away with it, and he's guilty, and he should be in jail. Number two is Peyton Manning, because when we when he did shake Drew's hand when we beat him in the Super Bowl, thanks to, like, when we came back, had an onside kick, and then a touchdown by Lance Moore, and a two-point conversion by Lance Moore, a touchdown by Pierre Thomas, and a two-point conversion by Lance Moore, and then... I think Shockey also scored a touchdown. That's way back in the day. And then, of course, Tracy Porter's pick six. He didn't shake the hand of Drew, of, uh, Drew Brees. That was really disappointing. So I, I, st I still have a grudge for him towards that. Number three is definitely Ronnie White. His, like, annoying little talkative. At least he's trash now. Number four is Aaron Rodgers. And number five is Colin Kaepernick. Or, no, Kaepernick pick. My bad. Anyhow, just to beat the Bucs, these are one of the teams I really want to beat after they embarrassed when they embarrassed us at our home. But when they beat us at home, it was, I was really ticked off. So thank God we beat them. We really contained this offense. Doug Martin, he had two big runs, but they were like fluky plays. Besides that, we contained the wide receivers. We pretty much contained the entire Tampa Bay Bucks offense. And what I'm really ticked off about is... You know, I watched the highlights of other games and stuff. I'm like, so one thing they show the Saints highlights, so I can see what they really like. Pay attention. They even show the Saints highlights in sports. I mean, they showed a couple on prior time, but dude, Tampa Bay was like a playoff contender, and but since we beat them, we get so much disrespect. We're not even gonna get any uh, coverage. Like they're not gonna show any of our games. Like, like really, dude? We're we're disrespected that much, man. It's so stupid. I, I'm so sick of us being disrespected, man. It's, it's just like. We speak the Tampa, but y'all don't give us any respect. Cause you know how much respect you get out of media is about how much they how how much of the highlights they show you, and they don't show you none. They showed a couple on prime time, but they don't show you any on Sports Center. They just don't care about you, which is a sign of disrespect. 
One more point to get to. Besides it being a great day for the Saints. Falcons! Falcons! 38 to nothing, man! 38 to nothing! <laughs> oh my god, you're not going to believe how many... I was watching these videos earlier. Falcons fans said they're going to give Carolina their first loss. Dude, y'all got shut out. 38 to nothing, dude. You guys are trash. i got to give a huge shout out to Panther Nasty. My god, you guys are really good. I mean, just to shut these bums out. I really proved that how much better we are than the Falcons. Because we, we, we put up 38 points on the Carolina. And Carolina was pissed off and, you know, beat uh, on Atlanta. But nevertheless, Atlanta, you are in a collapse. And I'll save that nonsense for uh, Week 17. You guys are hilarious. I love that. Who that? Let's get ready for the Lions. Prime time. I was, I was going to detail that on Wednesday. Great win. Great overall day. Who dat? Let's go. We still have a little shot. We need to root for Minnesota to lose.